Hey everybody, and welcome back to kind of a bonus uh, Line 6 Helix uh, dialing in video this week. I was messing around with some tones and kind of thinking about some cover guitar solos to do, and I was always a huge fan of Alex Lyson's uh, early tones. I know I've done a video kind of with the limelight tone. I've done a couple guitar solo cover videos for like uh, Tom Sawyer and limelight and uh, whatnot. So I wanted to kind of dive back into his earlier years where he was kind of using more just a, a Gibson 335, uh, pretty much straight into a Marshall. I think sometimes a bit of delay, a little bit of phaser, uh, sometimes on certain parts. And I thought I'm gonna try to just sort of take the intro to Working Man and see if I can dial in something that would be usable for that. So that's what I did. So this is kind of more of a first Rush album kind of tone. And I'll, I'll run through a couple of riffs and whatnot that I think it kind of works well for. I've also put a performance video up of me doing a little snippet of Working Man and the first guitar solo. I didn't do the second super long guitar solo. I would have loved to. Maybe I'll do it at some point, but it's, it's a lot to it to learn. And, and it's, I don't know, it's like two or three minutes long, you know? So uh, it would take a bit of work to kind of get that all um, under my fingers. Uh, so yeah, I just did the first one just so you can have, kind of hear how this tone works in the mix. So I did the backing track using Superior Drummer Moto Bass. I ran Moto Bass through Helix Native as well uh, for the bass tone. And then there's a couple rhythm guitars at one point during the solo, it's one rhythm guitar panned left and then the solo. But it, all those sounds are unprocessed from what you're gonna hear here in this preset. Okay, so let's dive over to HX and take a look what I, what I did. What I decided to do, I called it Working Man <clears throat> just because that's what I was uh, using. So we'll go over to the end again. My LA Studio comp like normal, peak reduction up a little higher at six, gain at five, mix at 100%. Um, the EQ I'll come back to, I used a plate reverb, decay at 3.1, pre-delay 15 milliseconds and mix of 30%. I didn't use the delay here um, on the performance video because I don't think Working Man really had much of a delay that I could hear in the mix. I mean, it's possible it's there, but I couldn't really hear it poking out, so it, it worked fine without it. But I thought I would throw the delay in, and what I did is I set this preset up in stomp mode so that I have the delay, phaser, and reverb all on their own uh, switches, and you can switch those in and, in and out depending on what you're playing with it, okay? Let's go to the amp first, though. So I went with a Brit Plexi Norm, and I really played a lot, around a lot with the amp parameters. Um, I sent that into a dual cab, 412 greenback 25 dual ones, one with a 121 ribbon uh, at a distance of two inches, and one with a 57 dynamic, which I don't oftentimes use set at one inch, but I pulled the level back minus 16B just to get a little bit of that kind of fizzy sound that uh, Alex has on it. Early reflections I set to 30% there and 40% on the other green back. So just little decisions I made along the way that kind of helped this to sound the way I wanted it to. The split crossover, I set at 650 hertz, boosted all the frequencies above that by 2.5 dB and didn't do anything to the frequencies below that. On the Brit Plexi Norm, drive was up at nine, bass was at nine, mids was at 10, treble was at zero, but presence was at eight. And I played around with those to get a nice balance and I really liked what came of this. Channel volume was 8.2, master was also at 10. Now this is where it gets interesting. I really played around with the deep controls on this. I wanted this kind of, you know, really rude kind of tone that Alex had on that album. And in my opinion, that's what it sounds like anyway. So I cranked the sag up to 10, hum up to 7.9, ripple up to 7.6, bias all the way up to 10. And I think bias X just stayed the same. So that was quite quite a, a fun little experiment to mess around with those. And it, it really opens up so many possibilities for these amps as I've talked about in, in uh, the deeper functions video I did a long time ago. So that's basically the settings. I went back to the EQ, set my high cut a little higher than normal, 13 kilohertz. I wanted to get a little bit of that fizziness in there and my low cut slightly lower than normal at 90 hertz. I boosted, 4.6 dB with a Q of 1.4 at 10 kilohertz. Again, working some of that little fizziness back in there. And I actually went to 480 hertz with a Q of two and boosted that 2 dB. Okay, so with the delay and the, uh, the um, phaser off, that sounded like this. And I'll do a little bit of the working manager. <laughs> Thank you. 
some kind of fun stuff. It, it has a cool vibe to it. It sounds pretty similar to what Alex had on that. A couple other riffs. <laughs> And then for something like, say, maybe in the mood, this is why I put the phaser in there. I found this is a little too distorted for that riff. But if we put the phaser on, roll the volume back just a couple notches. And I think it uses that even on a couple solos. And then of course we've also got the delay we can put on, which is just set feedback at 19%, mix at 30%, and it's a transistor tape, which is, um, kind of my go-to delay, and I believe what Alex actually used when he did use a delay back in those days. So pretty rude sound, but very much similar to the vein of what Alex had going on on that album. So I really like that. So I hope you guys enjoy that. It's just a one I threw together quickly. I thought it would be fun, just more for my own amusement, but I thought I'd share it with you guys. I'll have this up on Custom Tone um, when this video posts. I'll also, like I said, have the performance video up where I just do a, the, the first solo and a couple rhythm parts uh, from Working Man. Just so you can kind of hear how this sounds in the mix and how it, it works in there without any post-processing. So hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, go grab the preset. Let me know what you think. Please like the video and share it if you don't mind. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I uh, appreciate all the support. I'll be back soon with some more content. And thanks again for tuning in, guys. Talk soon. Ciao.